when you get a team in a room and give them permission to speak and say anything they want and be open and accepting, the other thing is, you know, it, it, it helps people get out of this idea that I'm right, which is really an ego-based way of mm. viewing things, right? They, people are walking into meetings. Everyone's walking in with the thing that I think in my mind is the right thing, right? So what it helps people get past is this conditioned mind aspect. So it breaks through laughter, playfulness, saying yes, and opening up to everyone's ideas. It breaks through this ego and helps everyone get past the thing you were just mentioning, which is I'm walking in with my box of thoughts, my collection of stories. <laughs> yes. And I'm thinking, I know. However, as soon as we start saying, I'm going to stay open, I'm going to yes and you, you open up mm. communication in brand new ways, period. So we're no longer walking around thinking we're right. We're walking around thinking, I have some ideas. I have things to add. And I'm staying open. And that's we need that around the world universally yeah. for many things. Like we're, uh, I mean, I think of ego more as uh, a, a good judgment. Like I want right. to jump over this ravine in front of me. I need to judge how far to jump. Right. Right. I want to, you know, it can, even with people, it's like, I need to know if you're going to attack me and kill me or we're going to be friends. I need to judge right. and I need to figure something out here. Are you going to ban me from the tribe or whatever it is? So there's, right. there's, there's value in that, but Yes. Uh, and, and what happens is if we just build purely on that, then we're all thinking cause and effect. And we're such a complicated world that the cause you can't see this, like, I almost want to say quantum stuff. Like you just literally, it's so complicated. You cannot see the permutations until you open yourself up, let go. I love the space, the love that mm -hmm. you, you can create and see where it takes you together because your box of stories that you have, I love that so much. Your box of stories that you're coming in with is like ridiculously not a complete picture. It's narrow, no matter what, no matter who yes. you are, it's narrow. Yes. It's like, I mean- there's And biased. Like, there's like 50 people out there and my box of stories is not complete with those 50 people. Never mind millions and billions. Yeah. Okay, okay, so. Yes. All said, right, so improv oh. is improv is here to, transform many things mm -hmm. around the power of uh, yes and open up getting past judgment saying yes to failure uh, the other thing you mentioned that I liked was in small businesses you know how much room can you give for failure because you know you can't just fail 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 so uh, you know there, you can address that by having kind of an incubator failure I'm going to fail this percent and say yeah you know like we know we have to keep things going but we also have a uh, you know, a company mandate to, you know, know that we're going to have this opportunity for failure. Every, every company needs that to really be creative, grow and evolve. Gotcha. Push forward and you know, say, listen, yes, we know what we need to do. We have to do, you yeah. have to deliver this for the yes. client. However, let's have some breathing room yeah. from which we can try something a little bit newer or, or whatever it is. Okay, cool. Right, right, right. So improv, I want to talk to you. People get a little nervous about improv. However, the thing to remember that we, we talk about right away when we're doing workshops is this is not about performance. Hmm. You know, the, the team building exercises we do are really just about being yourself. And so, you know, and you can never do anything wrong. You can never do anything wrong. So there's no performance. It's just exercises that help you experience each other differently. Once a team does improv together, they always see each other in a more open way and more with more space and more possibility. So let's do let's do a, a quick uh, exercise. It's again, there's, you're going to find it so so uh, so simple. I'm going to do um, we're going to do a, a short story, one line at a time. I'll do the first line. You do the second. We go back and forth, and th the first line of this story will be no. Okay, so I'll say, uh, you know, um, uh, Jill was an entrepreneur in Toronto. I'll say Jill was an entrepreneur in Toronto. And Brent, you say no, and then say something else. And we'll just go back and forth like that for a second. All right, okay. so Jill was an entrepreneur in Toronto. You say no. No, she wasn't. She was a mother of two kids. No, Jill liked to skydive. 
No, she hated it. She was like, why did you bring me up here? I'm scared out of my mind. No, Jill just uh, wanted to sit and look at the ocean. No, she... <laughs> She was bored and she just wanted to get rid of, get away from her kids. No. Okay. We'll just stop that one yeah. <laughs> because tell me how you felt with starting those with that no type exercise. Um, uh, so, well, okay. Um, first of all, I, I was like, what do I say? I literally, it was like, no. And then trying to say something that actually fit the storyline was hard. I loved how confidently you said no. I was, uh, <clears throat> no, she, like she, because you know you're sitting there. Well, you're more thinking. Well, why, why? Like it wasn't even didn't even make sense. She's sitting there oh, by the, yeah. the ocean, and it's like, no, she wasn't sitting by the ocean. She was <laughs> just getting away from her kids. Like yeah, she was still sitting by the ocean, even if she was getting away. So it was like I can't make this make sense. Actually, right. that's what went through my mind. I was like I cannot figure out how I was actually I was struggling to make this make sense. I love that so much. Okay. So when we do an exercise like this with no, we're showing what happens when we say no, there's no connection. Everything's fragmented. Nothing can work together. You don't even, it doesn't make sense. As you yeah, said, I certainly was like, nah, not you're wrong. I'm trying to think you're wrong. <laughs> all right. And it's all negative and low vibe, right? So here I'm going to do that exercise again, except we're going to say yes. And okay. Okay, now are we, right. gonna go, are we gonna do three or just you and I back and forth? We can, have, we can do three. Do you wanna do it, Arthur? Yeah. I can jump in, but please excuse the hammering that's happening over there. <laughs> that's okay, it's part of uh, our world on, on Zoom these days. Okay, so we'll do it in order of Tracy, Brent, Arthur. And so I love, it's great that we're doing all three of us, I love that. So I'll, I'll say the first line and then Brent, you say yes and, and Arthur, you say yes and, and we'll just go around with, just make sure you say yes and before everything you say. Uh, we'll do the same. We'll do the same story. I'll say, yeah. Um, Jill was an entrepreneur in Toronto. Yes, and she was also a mother of two kids. Yeah, and she loved skydiving. Yes, and Jill uh, had magic powers and flew through the sky at night. Yes, and that made it very difficult for her to skydive because she's like, I want to feel the thrill of jumping out of a plane, but I can fly. <laughs> And she yes, was an and. Ar architect. <laughs> yes, and she loved to do, to look at the buildings as she flew at night and reimagine architectural structures. Yes, and she decided one day to go across the ocean to look at some really old architecture from the ancient Greeks. Yes, and sometimes she would take little tiny paintbrushes to paint on the Greeks. Yes, and her favorite colors were gold, silver, and red. Yes, and the Greeks were like, why are you painting me? This is really weird. Yes, and she likes philosophy. Yes, and Jill has got quite a great life. We can end there. <laughs> yes. No, hold on. Yes, she's sure got go. a great life because when the Greeks ask her, why are you painting on me? She says, just be present in the moment while I paint your face, please. I love, Brent, that this time you wanted to keep going because that's beautiful.